Hello everyone. When you run your own business, you can operate your business under various type of business and legal structure. In this session, we will discuss those various business and legal structure, specifically sole proprietorship, partnership, corporation, limited liability company. Are these the only format or legal structure? Not at all. In this session, we will explore the characteristic of these business entities, including how many owners can you have, who pays the taxes, whether the business is a legal entity or not in the eyes of the law, the business life continuity, whether the business is legally responsible or are the owners legally responsible. You will see this topic again in your business law class, in your management class, in your tax class. So it's very important that you are familiar from a personal perspective as well about your option and how to run your business. Obviously, consult a lawyer when you're ready to do that and your CPA. At the end of this session, maybe we'll work in MCQ. Stay motivated and let's get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Our financial accounting course is best for online students and students who are struggling in their financial accounting courses. We cover all the essentials from debits and credits, adjusting entries, closing entries, financial statements, and all balance sheet accounts. Our comprehensive course include lectures, multiple choice, true false, as well as practical exercises. Start your free trial today to help you pass your financial accounting course. Your success starts here. So let's start by looking at the sole proprietorship. Starting with number of owners. The word sole means one. It means we only have one owner. And the advantage of a sole proprietorship, it's easy to establish. You don't need any one, any government involvement. You just start a business and that's that. From a business taxation, what happened from a business taxation? The business don't exist by itself. The business don't pay their taxes separately. What does that mean? It means we don't pay any taxes? Not at all. The owner pays the taxes. So no separate business income tax. Why? Because the owner themselves are the business. They pay the tax on the profit. So simply put, when the business makes $10,000 in revenues minus $3,000 in expenses, what's going to happen? We have a profit of $7,000. This $7,000 goes to the owner, to the sole proprietary, and the sole proprietary will have a $7,000 income to pay, to pay taxes on. We're going to see that. That's going to be a little bit different later on. Owner liability, what does that mean? It means, does the owner have any liability for the business? And the answer is yes. The owner will have unlimited liability. The owner is personally responsible for the business debt and the business suit. Like if somebody is suing the business, they sue the owner because there's no separate business. The owner and the business are one individual. The business is not a distinct legal entity. The business is the owner. This is what a sole proprietary ship. That's it. You have one person. The business is the owner. The income is taxed for the owner. The owner is sued directly. The owner is responsible for everything. The business life of this business ends with the owner death or if the owner decided not to keep on going. This is how the sole proprietorship business ends. So the advantage of a sole proprietorship, it's easy to form. The business is not taxed. The disadvantage, it's the liability. It's not a legal entity. Now a partnership, there are many types of partnership and we'll look at partnership later on a little bit more in depth when we looked at the partnership chapter. But for now, the partnership obviously is more than one person, two or more owners called partners also easy to establish. So you're going to see the sole proprietorship and the partnership are basically to a great degree the same, except you have more people involved. There's no separate business income tax, just like a sole proprietorship. So what's going to happen to that 7,000? That 7,000 is spread to the various owners. Rather than one owner, you have various partners, various owners. Owner liability, again, we have different type of partnerships, but for now, we're going to keep it simple. The, the simplest one is a general partnership. You will have unlimited liability. Partners are jointly responsible for the business debt. It means the owners are responsible. 
That's all you have to know for now. It's a little bit more involved. When we get to the partnership chapter, we'll discuss this. Is it a legal entity? No. As I told you, just like a sole proprietary ship, it's not a legal entity. Although some partners could, could be considered, but we don't want to get into this. And when does the business end? When the partner's death or they decided to kind of dissolve the partnership. There are different rules. We'll discuss them later. Now let's move on to corporation. And specifically, we're dealing with C, C as in Charlie Corporation, because we also have S Corporation. You don't have to worry about this. When you learn about taxes, you learn about S Corporation. C Corporation, how many owners can you have? You could have one or many, millions. It doesn't matter. Any investor, if you have a corporation, can buy into your corporation, or you can own all your shares, 100%, or you can sell it to the public. Like publicly publicly traded corporation, they have millions, millions of owners. Business taxation, here it's we're starting to differ, and the answer is yes. Business is subject to income tax. What does that mean? Let's go back to our example here. Remember what we said with this owner? They said, if they make a $7,000 profit, what's going to happen is this profit goes to the owners and the owner pay taxes. This is what we said. In a corporation, what's going to happen is first, the corporation itself, before that income is taxed on the individual level, the corporation might have to pay, I'm going to make it easy, 20%, specifically it's 21% these days. So what's 20% of 7,000, if my math is right, is 1,400. Now, what does that mean? It means the business made $7,000 in profit. Fine. The business will have to pay taxes 7,000 times 0.2, which is 1,400. Now, after we deduct the taxes, what's left is 5,600. What's left after we deduct the taxes is 5,600. And this is the money that's left to the owners. Now, the owners get this money. Let's assume we have one owner one owner, then the owner will have to pay taxes again on the 5,600. And this is called double taxation. And this is one of the disadvantages of forming a corporation. The corporation itself, the corporation itself is subject to tax. Now, this is the disadvantage. The advantage of having a corporation is the limited liability. What is a limited liability? It means the owners are protected in case something happen. Like the business is sued. Yes, the business is sued. The owners are protected. Also, they are not responsible for the corporate debt. So if the corporation borrows money and the corporation fails, the owners are not personally responsible. They have a protection. It's called the corporate veil. They are protected. Why? Because the corporation is a separate legal entity. Now, we have one whole chapter about corporations. We'll talk about that later. Now, corporation, in theory, exists in perpetuity. Perpetuity. So the corporation can hire managers, the managers can run the company, even if the person dies, the corporation survive. Now let's talk about another form of business called limited liability company or LLC. So what about the LLC? How many owners can we have? We can have one or more owners, they're called members. Similar to a partnership, or it could be also similar to a sole proprietary ship. Or you could have many members like a corporation. So it's like a hybrid. Business taxed? No. The business is not taxed, which is good. It saves you on your taxes. You pay taxes once. Owner liability? Limited liability. So notice the, the beauty of the LLC is the business is not taxed, but members are not personally liable for the debt. So you pay taxes only once and you are protected. Legal entity? Yes, it's a separate legal entity. So you have the, bo the, the best of both worlds. What is that? You have protection from the government, uh, sorry, protection from the debtors, protection from being sued personally, and you pay taxes only once. Now, LLC will have a perpetual existence because it has members. Members can hire management. Management can run the LLC, limited liability company. And in theory, we can exist in perpetuity. Let's take a look at this multiple choice question from farhatlectures.com. Sarah is considering starting a business and evaluating the different type of business structure. What she wants to do, she wants to make sure she is not personally liable for the business debt and does not want to deal with corporate income tax. Wow. 
So she doesn't want to be responsible, personally responsible for the debt of the company. She wants to have protection. And at the same time, she don't want the corporation, the business to pay taxes. What type of structure should she consider? Is it sole proprietorship? Is it partnership, corporation, limited liability company? Let's start with the sole proprietorship. Do you have to deal with corporate income tax? No. Are you responsible for the business debt? Yes. So sole proprietorship is out. Partnership. Remember what I said about the partnership? It's very similar to a sole proprietorship. You don't pay taxes. The business don't pay taxes, but you are responsible for the debt. So B is out. Now we are left with corporation and limited liability company. Corporation. Do you remember what we when we talked about the corporation? What's one of the disadvantages of corporation is the corporation itself pays corporate income tax. And Sarah, she's not interested in that. Therefore, corporation is out. Limited liability company. Would that be the case? By process of elimination, it is. It's an LLC. And an LLC, the owner or the member is not personally liable for the business debt and the corporate income tax. Now, how about being sued? It gets a different story. You will learn about this later on when we talked about the various type of partnerships. What should you do now? You want to go to Farhat Lectures. Look at additional resources, multiple choice lectures. That's going to help you with your course, financial accounting course. Invest in yourself. Good luck. Study hard. And of course, stay safe.